Hello aspirants, welcome to Tirmanam classes. So we all are aware that very soon we are going to have the group 2 mains examination. So probably in the month of June or as a case of July. So the students from AP, those who are appearing for group 2. So you are going to face the group 2 mains examination. So the movement you are talking about the case of group 2 mains examination. So this mains examination of group 2 is slightly different when compared to the previous group 2 examinations. Now the reason for that one. So this particular group 2 mains examination which will be held in the year 2024 it's slightly different because of the change in the pattern of the examination. Now you are all aware of that. So in the new pattern we are going to have the science and technology part for 75 marks. So for the very first time, for the very first time, the questions on science and technology will be for 75 marks, which means the weightage of the science and technology has increased to a very, very, very greater extent. Right. So we'll start our discussion. We'll start our discussion with the famous quote by Dr. Abdul Kalam. So, dream is not the one which you see while sleeping. It is something that does not let you sleep. Right. So, that must be the attitude when you are aiming for something high, when you are aiming for something big. Right. So, that particular dream must not let you sleep. So, at any particular point of time, at the same time, at any particular cost, you should be in a position to achieve that particular dream. You should be in a position to achieve that particular goal. So, with this particular famous note by Dr. Kalam, we'll start our discussion. So, the movement you're talking about the case of AP Group 2 Mains Science and Technology. So, the syllabus is totally new. The syllabus is totally uh, different. At the same time, we can expect questions on this one in depth analysis, right? In depth, completely in depth. Now, basically, whenever we talk about the case of science and technology, till the last few years or else you can even say last year. The questions from science and technology usually the weightage for that one was around 10 or else to the max 15 questions to the max 15 questions. So whether you are talking about the case of group 1 preliminary examination or else whether you are talking about the case of the group 2 examination but now it is a totally different scenario. And at the same time the most important thing when you are observing the recent trend, when you are observing the recent questions in case of science and technology, whether you are talking about ABBSC group 1 preliminary examinations, the last uh, two uh, group 1 preliminary examination. So, in case of AP group 1 prelims, the weightage for science and technology is 30 marks. Now, even in that particular 30, even in that particular 30 questions, the number of questions, the number of questions which are appearing from the static part of science and technology is very, very less. At the same time, the number of questions which are appearing from the dynamic part, the current issues, so they are very, very high in number. At the same time, each and every particular question, each and every particular question is having options in the form of statements. The options itself are in the form of statements. Sometimes even the options are lengthier when compared to even the questions also. At the same time, the answers for that one, maybe one, maybe one option is correct, maybe two options are correct, maybe three options are correct. So, that is the situation as of today's date. So, it means that you need to pick the answer from the given options that may be one, two or three. So, could be any particular one. So, we need to have a preparation to that particular level, to that particular level. Now, whenever you are referring any particular standard book, any particular standard book for science and technology. Now, unfortunately, the most unfortunate thing is that the students in general, the aspirants in general, they are relying to a very, very greater extent on the books that are available in the market. Right. The books that are being written by many number of persons. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, those particular books, they contain the static information only. And the books were printed, they were released almost around one year back. 
So as on today's date, if you talk about the case of science and technology for group 2 mains examination, we need to focus on the present issues. The issues that are happening, the developments that are happening, the trends that we are seeing in the last 6 months, 9 months, 12 months, not before that particular thing. So whenever you are purchasing any particular book from the market for science and technology, make sure make sure it is uh, having some relevant information it is having some information the recent times but unfortunately you don't find any particular book for for science and technology in the market all the books are the old ones so before we start our discussion before we start our discussion we'll just look at the syllabus so here in case of your science and technology right so we have got two topics which are totally related to the case of the two topics which are related to the case of science and technology only right now here in case of your ap group 2 means total we have got five units total we have got five units now out of that particular five units two topics are exclusively from sorry three topics are exclusively from science and technology the first topic second topic and the fifth topic they are exclusively from science and technology and many people say many people are saying that the fifth topic is from biology but here in this particular case if you see the syllabus here if you see the syllabus at any particular point of time or at any particular place in the fifth topic in the fifth topic biology is not mentioned anywhere you are not talking about the case, case of the animals, the plants. You are not talking about the human circulatory system here. So we need not touch biology for this particular thing. The only thing that is mentioned in the syllabus, particularly in the fifth topic is health and diseases. And that can be related to the case of biotechnology. The different types of vaccines that are being developed the new type of diseases that we are coming across the new type of methods that are implemented in the field of medicine now that is what we need to talk here we are not talking about biology here so we need not bother you need not refer the ncrt books for biology here that will not serve the purpose that will not serve the purpose it is totally simply utterly waste of time referring to biology textbooks at the school level right so what is the first topic here? So here in this particular case, the moment you're talking about the syllabus point of view here, the very first topic is including the technology missions, policies as well as applications. Now in this particular topic, you have already gone through the syllabus, right? I'm sure that you have already gone through the syllabus. We have this particular thing with you. But the basic thing, what you should uh, know, what you should be aware of, in the first topic, we have got space technology. So, we have got nuclear energy. We have got defense. At the same time, the case of the information communication technology. And along with that, the policies. The policies at the same time, the different programs that have been implemented by the Department of Science and Technology. Now, the first topic is not one topic alone. The first topic is having almost five topics. It is an amalgamation or else it is an integration of five topics there. The integration of five topics. That is the policies of Department of Science and Technology, Space, Defense, Nuclear and at the same time Information and Communication Technology. So what we are supposed to read? Now, from these particular topics, we have got huge amount of static data. For example, if you talk about the case of your space, you, have, you talk about the case of the space technology in India. So, right from 1962, right from the establishment of Incospar, but we, are, we need not bother about that particular part. We need not have the complete in-depth analysis regarding the static information. We need to know the basic fundamental things. The basic fundamental things. Right. So, in case of this, but the first topic. Now, for example, I'll just show you some examples here. Now, this is one particular thing that we can see. The cabinet approved Prithvi Vigyan scheme. 
Now this is one particular thing that we need to know. So we have what the very first topic, the national policies. At the same time, we're talking about the days of technology missions. Technology missions. The technology, the nine technology missions implemented by the present government. The nine technology missions. At the same time, you need to talk about the case of the new, the new brain gain schemes by the Department of Science and Technology. The schemes like this. Now, this particular scheme will not be available in any of the books available in the market. But we need to focus on this one. You don't have any option. So, the source of this particular thing, you need to go through the newspapers or as the case of Google. That's it. Only these two things will serve the purpose. So, any particular book which is available in the market or else any particular app which is there in the Play Store, now all the videos which are uploaded in the Play Store of various institutions, now those particular videos will have only the static part. So, whether you are purchasing that one or not, that's a different case. But thing is that make sure whenever you are purchasing any particular course related to the group 2 mains, particularly for science and technology, make sure that those particular videos are recorded the latest time, in the latest period. Not the videos which were recorded one year before. Not the videos which were recorded two years before. Because those particular things will not serve the purpose. You are simply wasting your time. You are simply wasting your money on that. So as on today's date, time is very, very precious for all the group to aspirants. So please do not waste your money. Please do not spare, invest your time on those particular apps, on those particular videos wherein they are providing the static information. So here, we at Thirmal Glasses, we are going to provide the complete information, the static part, whichever is required, and that and the one that is connected to the present data, the present information, what is happening around us. We need to have a complete picture regarding the static as well as the case of the dynamic thing. So, we at Thermal Glasses, we are going to provide you the static information along with the dynamic. So, that is the reason why the decision is left to you people. So, whether you are going to follow this or else follow the other ones which are available in the market, where they are going to provide you only the static part, no dynamic issues, no the present, not the present ones. Right. So, think and uh, take a wise decision. So, this is the one that we need to have an idea. This is just an example I am talking about. So, what is this particular, what is this particular Prithvi scheme? Why this particular scheme is important for the examination point of view? At the same time, so, whenever you are reading newspapers, the last three months or four, uh, four months. Now, this particular thing, Rashtriya Vijnan Puraskar, this particular thing, it was in news. Now, the question is that, why, why this particular Rashtriya Vijnan Puraskar is in news? At the same time, the Shanti Swaru Bhatnagar Awards, they were also in news. Now, why these awards are in news? What is the reason behind it? At the same time, why this particular program in print, it is making news. Why it is in the news? There is one more program, Inspire. So, what is Inspire program? What is in print program? At the same time, we are talking about the many number of programs which have been announced by the Ministry of Science and Technology, by the Ministry of Earth Sciences, the Department of Science and Technology in the recent times. We are talking about the case of the Prime Minister Fellowship Scheme. So, what is that particular scheme? So, who are eligible for that one? What is the imprint program? What are the objectives of this particular program? At the same time, the Rashtriya Vijnan Puraskar, what are these particular awards? So, who, are, who is eligible for that one? At the same time, why the Shanswaru Bhatnagar awards have been replaced with these particular things? And what are the categories in case of Rashtriya Vijnan Puraskar? So, you need to have an idea, a complete thorough picture regarding these particular things. Then you talk about the case of the space technology. Now the moment you're talking about the case of space, without having any picture, without having any idea about orbits, launch vehicles, satellites, we cannot move forward. 
and the moment you're talking about the case of orbits, the Leo orbit, the Geo orbit, now this is a static information. This will not change. Now in these particular orbits, at a height of around less than 1000 kilometers, or else at a height of around 35,786 kilometers, these orbits are present. Now the question is that in these particular orbits, which type of satellites are introduced, which type of satellites are placed and for that particular thing, which launch vehicles are we using. So, whether we are going to use PSLV, GSLV, LVM3 or else SSLV or else SSLV. So, what are these particular things? What are specifications of these particular launch vehicles? What is the type of the fuel that is used in these particular launch vehicles? At the same time, the moment you're talking about the fuel that is used. Now, as on today's date, to reduce the chlorinated emissions, chlorinated emissions because of uh, because of the usage of the liquid fuel, nothing but unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine. So, to reduce that chlorinated emissions because of UDH, ISRO has developed some green propellants. What are they? That is what we need to have an idea here. At the same time, we are talking about the case of the mission Aditya. The moment you are talking about the case of mission Aditya, Aditya L1 was placed at one of the Lagrange points. Now, the question is that what is a Lagrange point? What is a Lagrange point? What is the significance of that particular Lagrange point? That is what we need to have an idea. At the same time, the recent ones, XP was at. So, which was launched on Jan 1st, what is the objective of this one? At the same time, what are the payloads, what are the payloads that were launched using XPOSAT, Mission Aditya? We need to have an idea on that one. At the same time, we talk about the case of POEM. Now, this is one particular thing which is in news as on today's date. So, whenever we are talking about the launching of these particular vehicles, PSLV or these particular things, you are talking about the case of poem. What is this particular poem? And then, a very, very recent update. A very, very recent update. The last 10 days or 15 days, you can see. The amendment in FDI policy on space sector. So, what is the amendment related to the case of space sector? What is the amendment in case of space sector? So, how much FDIs are permitted? How much FDIs are permitted in space sector? At the same time, you're talking about different levels. So, even in case of your space sector, you're talking about the case of various levels. What are the various levels? You're talking about the case of uh, the fuel development. You're talking about the launch vehicles. You're talking about the case of the satellites. So, in which particular sector, in which particular area, how much FDIs are allowed? That is what an important one. At the same time, as on today's date, there is one particular thing which is in uh, news to a very great extent in space. What is in space? At the same time, what is NSIL? What is the role of NSIL? What is the role of in space? We need to have an idea on that particular thing. At the same time, fast radio bursts, FRBs. What are FRBs? What is LIGO interferometer? And why the central government has recently approved almost around 1200 crores of rupees for one particular uh, project which is related to the case of your telescopes, astronomical studies. What is the name of that particular project? What is the name of that particular project? And what is this particular LIGO interferometer? What are FRBs? What are solar flames? Right? So, we need to have an idea on all these particular things. Then moving on to the case of the defense. So, what is defense indigenization? What is defense indigenization? Why we are focusing on this particular thing? What is the target of defense indigenization? At the same time, what is the percentage of the present Indian defense exports? When you are talking in terms of the global economy, what is the contribution of the Indian defense in that particular thing? Then we need to have an idea regarding Defense indigenization. At the same time, very recently, this particular thing is in news. You are talking about the case of the Agni missiles. Right. So, earlier, 
Agni missiles were tested. Recently, Agni missiles were tested. Now, what is the difference between the earlier Agni missile and the present Agni missile? What is this particular MIRV technology? What is MIRV technology? Right? What is the range of Agni 5? Right? So, that is what that is one development in the recent times. At the same time, you're talking about one more recent development related to the field of defense. You're talking about the case of Dhruvastra. What is this for the Dhruvastra missile? So, which type of missile is this? Whether it comes under, whether it comes under uh, the case of surface-to-air missile, surface-to-surface missile, air-to-air missile, what type of missile is this? From where it is launched? And then, drones, this is one particular term which is in news these days to a very greater extent. You are talking about the drone technology for defense. Now, you might have read in newspapers, the serious aspirants, you might have read in newspapers. Recently, the Indian government, at the same time, even the United States government has approved the sale of drones to India. The United States has approved the sale of drones to India. The question is that, which drones are those? What are those particular drones? What will be the use of those particular things? In which particular area they will be used? Right at the same time, the Akash weapon system. So, even the past also we had Akash weapons, Akash missiles. Now, what is the latest version related to the case of Akash weapons? So, we need to have an idea regarding this. Then, moving on to the case of information communication technology. So, in the syllabus, it is very, very clearly mentioned about e governance. So, what is e governance? What is e governance? So, what are the initiatives that have been taken for the implementation of the e-governance at various levels? What are the steps? What are the initiatives? At the same time, you talk about the case of the Digital India. A very, very old one, but, it's, but it is mentioned in the syllabus very much clearly. So, what are the nine pillars of Digital India? What are the objectives of Digital India? At the same time, these days, you are talking about the case of Web 3.0. So, what is web 1.0? What is web 2.0? What is web 3.0? At the same time, you talk about the case of IPv4. You talk about IPv6. What is internet protocol version 4? What is internet protocol version 6? At the same time, at the same time, the one which is making news in these days to a very, very greater extent. You talk about these persons. Now, we have never seen the Honorable Prime Minister of India uh, um, singing songs. We have never seen so the United States ex president playing guitar or as the case of Obama here at the same time the King John here. Now, these are some of the images which have been created based on one particular technology which is known as artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Now, these days, this particular technology is in much news, but the question is that what is AI? What is AI? At the same time, so for that particular AI, for that particular artificial intelligence, so recently a summit has been held. So what is this particular GPAI declaration, GBAI New Delhi declaration, which was held on the 13th of December 2023. And why this particular Germany, which has been done by Google, it is in news. What is the reason for that? At the same time, we talk about the case of Krutrim. Now, this particular Krutrim, it is one of the previous questions in case of Group 1 prelims. The recently held on the examination which was held on March 17th, there is one question which is based on this. So, you are talking about the case of what are the applications of the artificial intelligence. Nothing but the case of Krutrim. What is Krutrim? Right. So, these are the things that we need to have a complete idea, thorough idea. Right. National quantum mission. The telecommunications bill of 2023. At the same time, the cyber security. The movement talking about the case of cyber security, you're talking about the case of I4C, India Cyber Crime Coordination Center. At the same time, cyber insurance that we are talking about. At the same time, you're talking about the case of the near field communication. Now, all these are the developments in the field of information communication technology. So, the moment you are talking about the case of science and technology as on today's date, we need to have an idea regarding the static part, 
at the same time the dynamic part it is not static alone it is not static alone right gone or those particular days gone or those particular days wherein science and technology was only static right at the same time the second unit if you talk to your case of the second unit we have got one topic that is energy management now in case of energy management right as on today's date we are hearing a lot about the case of energy sector particularly we talk about the case of solar energy so in case of solar energy there was one recent program which was announced by the prime minister of india on 26th of january so what is that particular program what are the implications of that one who is eligible for that one at the same time why the government is focusing on the solar energy what is national solar mission at the same time we are talking about the case of the solar power scheme for pvtg so what is this one particularly vulnerable tribal groups so what is this particular solar scheme for these particular people at the same time we are talking about the case of ethanol blending ethanol blending so as on today's date you are talking about 90 10 ratio 90 10 ratio and in the near future we are going to have 80 to 20 so what is the use what is the use of this particular blending why we are heading towards this one at the same time what is the goal that is there in front of us keeping in view 2070 what is meant by net zero emissions at the same time we are talking about the case of the carbon markets at the same time we talk about the case of ccus technology what is this particular ccus technology what are carbon markets at the same time we talk about the compressed biogas blending obligation now all these particular things all these particular things all these particular things they are a part of science and technology so i repeat again i just want to remind you again so any particular thing that you are going through or else any particular thing that you are preferring for science and technology make sure that that particular source is having the static information along with that the dynamic information right so here we here at thermal glasses we are going to provide you the static along with the dynamic information so we are not going to provide you any recorded classes the classes which were recorded one year before or six months before we are not going to provide you such classes here so the classes will be the live classes and any particular class which will be uploaded in the app they are the recently recorded ones in the classroom itself in the classroom itself but not the earlier recorded classes of one year or two years before so before purchasing any particular course or from any particular thing from any particular uh, institutions or whatever it is so make sure that you are going to have the right information and please do invest your time and money in a very very proper manner right all the best